Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done a glam Valentine's look for you all using drugstore only product. The only thing that wasn't drugstore that I used was the eyeshadow primer. Um, it's the only one that I could really trust to not let the glitter transfer to my upper eyelid. But I'm pretty sure that the little mini ones are only like £10 anyway. So I'm just setting my crease to brow bone using a neutral coloured eyeshadow and then I'm going in with a light pink as my first transition colour. Really buffing that in the eye, taking that from the crease right up towards my brow bone. Then I'm going in with the deeper pink and again using that in the crease, buffing it up towards my brow bone. I took quite a lot of time with this one just to make sure that it was blended really smoothly. Then I went in with a brownie mauvey sort of shade and used that to deepen up the crease a little bit. Again, taking it from the crease up towards the brow bone, but not quite as high as I took the other two colours. Then I went in with the black from the palette and mainly patched that onto the outer corner and then very slowly started to sweep it up in towards the crease. I only very lightly took it in towards the inner corner as well just because I didn't want it to be too dark on that area but I buffed that into the other colours and really took the time to make sure that it was blended seamlessly. Then I carved out the front half of my eye using concealer and a flat synthetic brush and this gave the effect of like a half cut crease. So I covered the front portion of my eye in that concealer as well just to cancel out any of like the black eyeshadow that fell down onto it and I made sure that it was blended smoothly into the black eyeshadow. Then I quickly set down the concealer using a little bit of the pink eyeshadow just to make sure that no skin colour poked through when I put the glitter on over the top. Then I'm taking this pink holographic glitter, packing that on all over the front portion of the lid that I previously carved out, but using that to really sharpen up the line as well from the cut crease. I very lightly pulled that glitter over the black eyeshadow as well, just to make sure that it had more of a gradient and wasn't like a harsh line right across the middle of the eye. Then I just very quickly set that down with a little bit of setting spray to stop the glitter from transferring to the upper eyelid. Then I'm just priming my face using my next Angel Veil. I found that this one really helps my makeup to last a lot longer, but also it helps to fill in all the pores as well. Then I'm just concealing my dark circles and any blemishes or redness that I have on my face. Then I'm using foundation, so I'm mixing these two together just because I have a little bit of fake tan left, so I'm not quite back to my normal pale self, I just need a little bit of like extra warmth in there. And I'm just buffing that over the skin using a damp beauty sponge. And still putting oil onto my beauty sponge, I found that it really does help prevent it to cake up. It just makes the finish of my foundation a lot nicer. Then I'm concealing and highlighting. So I'm using my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer just to conceal under eyes. And then I'm taking this white highlighter shade from LA Girl to really brighten up those areas. And then again, I'm just buffing that in with my damp beauty sponge. So I took my RCMA No Colour Powder and used that to bake any areas that crease on my face but also any areas that I highlighted as well. Um, and then I did my brows off camera just because it's the same as always, I never really change anything and I think it's just getting a bit boring to what. But then I used the powder that I'd left there to bake um, and I sweeped that across the rest of my face. I've quite enjoyed not setting my entire face 
it's like really heavily I just use the excess powder that was already there and then I'm just contouring my face as per normal just doing my cheekbones nose and forehead then I'm going into blush and I'm mixing these two colors from this palette to give a nice rosy pink shade which I felt matched the eyeshadow quite nicely and then took these two highlighting shades from the same palette and it gave quite an iridescent like pink shade so I used that on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, my nose and also I used that as my inner corner highlight as well. Going back into the eyes I took the bright pink shade and buffed that underneath my lower lash line and I smoked that one out quite a lot. Then I went in with the deeper brownie purpley shade and again used that to smoke out the lower lash line making sure that it was all like blended really nicely. Then I took the black and did the same thing as well but also I made sure that it was connected to the upper eyeshadow so that that, that was all quite seamless. Then I took a liquid eyeliner used that just very thinly along my lash line just to hide the lash band when it came to putting on falsies. Then I took a black coal pencil and used that to tight line but also in my waterline just so no skin was poking through. Gave my lashes a good coat of mascara and popped on some false lashes. So I'm lining my lips using a hot pink lip liner and I fill, filled them in as well I went in with a bright pink liquid lipstick to match. And that was everything for this one. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me if you liked the fact that I used pretty much all drugstore products, whether that was helpful to you at all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did like it, as well as leave any requests for future videos down in the comments below. I hope you all have a lovely Valentine's Day and I'll see you in the next one. Can't play, y'all can't believe. It's just as in the back, you gotta roll up your sleeves. But while y'all watching, watch him. He gon' make it to a beans out of that dancing. He got that ambition, baby. Look at his eyes. This week he mopping floors, next week is the fries. So.